what it is guys this is your boy king mike d games coming at you with another video and today i'm coming with my last pickup video for the year now as many of you guys know i had a rough start this year i had a five month hiatus where i had to go away um it put me back uh, by a lot it put me so behind with so many things but uh, i think i kind of redeemed myself for the rest of this year with this pickup video so stay tuned uh, to the end, I'm going to show you guys my best pickup that I got for today. So make sure you watch this to the end, all right? And uh, I want to give a shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys for still holding me down. I know my content has slowed up, but I'm going to try to be on a more, how should I put this, um, a more better path to upload more stuff. So without further ado, enough yapping. Let's get into it. Um, I'm going to get, you know what, I'm going to get into the uh, consoles. Uh, first uh, so as you guys seen by the picture I finally went on ahead and got me a Nintendo switch now I'm very happy to get this uh, I didn't pay full retail price for it as you guys can see it came with the box and everything and it was used but it came with everything everything was still new in its sleeve uh, everything was very clean for 200 bucks you can't beat that at all so I'm very very happy to finally have the switch okay Next up, I got something that was given to me uh, as a little, let's say, uh, Christmas gift from Gameplay. I'm very happy to get this. And that is, as you've seen by the picture as well, the PlayStation Classic. Now, um, as you guys know, I already have the original PlayStation, uh, the original one in the box right there. It's basically the same box, but that, of course, is the original. That's the big one. But um, with this, um, some people have asked me what am I going to do? Am I going to open it? Am I not? I'm not going to open it for the simple fact that I honestly, I don't care about any of the games. on. I'm going to be real. I don't care about really too many of the games on here. And if I want to play them, I can just, I, I can say play them on emulation. I can play them somewhere else. I just feel the need, I don't feel the need to open this. So I'm going to leave this sealed. So um, there is the PlayStation Classic right there. I got another console that I've gotten. I'm going to show you guys at the end. I'm very happy to get this console. I've had my eye on it for about two years and I finally uh, got my hands on it, but I got that one for free as well from Gameplay. So a huge shout out to Gameplay. If you guys ever in the California area, check out Gameplay. They're awesome, all right? So I'm gonna start with the games right now. I didn't get that many games, but like I said, I think I redeemed myself with everything else. So first game is a game that I seen that looks pretty interesting. I never seen it before and I actually kind of want to look it up. And that is um, Disaster Report. It kind of looks like a movie if you look at the cover. Like, I don't know what's going on here, but uh, <laughs> it looks pretty crazy. Escape the Fury of Nature. So I'm assuming there's natural disasters or stuff going on you have to escape. I have no idea. And I've never heard of this uh, gaming company, Age Tech. Is that Tech? Yeah, Age Tech. I've never heard of it. I don't know. So if you guys have played this game, let me know what you think. All right. Next up. We got Snow Cross 2. I believe I have Snow Cross 1 for the uh, PlayStation 2. I have not played neither one of these, but any games where it's like uh, racing or uh, customizing or getting the fastest snowboard, skateboard, uh, bike, whatever, BMX, I like stuff like this. I always have. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Tony Hawk kind of games where you can grind on stuff, racing. It's just pretty cool. I always like games like these, so very happy to have this in my collection. Next up is a game that looked pretty interesting uh, to me that I've never seen. It's called Goblin Commander Unleash the Horde. Um, yeah, I've seen this and it just looked pretty interesting. And of course, I don't have it in my collection and it is complete. And you guys know I'm trying to go for a full complete set of original Xbox games. So very happy to have uh, this in my collection right here. And with all these game pickups, this puts me at 1,124 games in my collection this is physical copies guys a lot of people add their digital stuff i don't do that if i added my digital games that i've had it'd be ridiculous but this is 1124 uh copy uh real copy games all right next up another game i've had my eye on for a while wrath unleashed um i kind of like games like this with dinosaurs or dragons and big monsters fighting kind of like the godzilla type style kind of thing always like stuff like this um it's by lucas arts so uh i want to check this game out if you guys have played this you let me know let me know what you think about it if it's good or if it's not another game that i just 
got for like the buy two get one free deal was a uh, Shrek 2. I have another Shrek racing game for uh, the Wii, I believe. So I didn't have this one. So um, I wanted to go ahead and pick this up. Eventually, I want to own all the Shrek games. A lot of Shrek has slept on. A lot of people didn't like the movie or they said it was for kids, but it really isn't. If you really sit down and watch the movie Shrek, any of them, they have so much adult humor in it. It's ridiculous. It's really not for kids to me, <laughs> but that's what it is. And this next game I'm going to show you guys, you guys know I'm a huge, a huge Incredible Hulk fan. So I am so happy to have this game complete in box, basically almost mint condition. And this is the Incredible Hulk for the uh, Sega Genesis. And like I said, this game is so minty. They have it in a plastic case. I'm not sure if you guys, yeah, you guys can tell from here. It's in a plastic case. And I'm going to see, I'm going to try to make an attempt to open this with one hand. If stuff drop and stuff, yo, it just is what it is. Don't. <laughs> Don't mind it. Don't mind me at all. I'm going to try to take it out to show you guys. Let's drop the... Drop the... There you go. All right. Here we go. The Incredible Hulk for the Sega Genesis. There's the game right there. So, you guys know I'm a huge Incredible Hulk fan. Very, very happy to have this in my collection. I think this is dope, man. This is awesome. I'm, I'm going to add it to my Hulk thing stuff going on over here eventually. And my last game pickup... Is uh, for the Switch, my first game, official game for the Switch, and uh, that is Fate Excello. Um, the guy at Gameplay was telling me this is kind of like a Dynasty Warrior, uh, a hack and slash kind of game. I hope it's good. Um, we're going to see. I hope it's good. Let's just put it that way. So, uh, yeah, there it is. And um, for my last thing that I got, I'm so happy to have, and it was... Oh, wait. Before I, before I do that, let me not move too forward. Um, this ain't too big, but... I got this PS2, original PS2 box from Gameplay for free as well. Uh, he threw this in. I seen it, and I was like, hey, you want it? You guys want to throw this out? And he's like, sure, take it. So I got it. It's going to go good with my PlayStation boxes over there. I need the PS2 box, actually, so kind of happy to have this right here. So without further ado, my last pickup that I'm very happy for today is a Japanese one-piece gold system for playstation 3 here it is very very beautiful console and i got this on the house believe it or not got this on the house um good looking out gameplay really appreciate you guys they have been a huge factor in my collecting they were the first place i really started going to collect when i started collecting um so a huge shout out to william william appreciate you brother all right you guys look at this thing is beautiful man this thing is really and this has stuff that's like etched into it as well very dope man it's a japanese console of course the japanese system everybody knows it plays american games and japanese games um the playstation 3 in general does but very happy to have this so here it is guys here's everything i've gotten uh oh yeah and i got the switch yesterday i posted it up on my instagram i'm just making the video about it today so if you guys follow me on my instagram you guys have probably already seen the switch already and that's the best way to see what i got first i usually post it on um instagram first and that is uh my instagram is king mike d games all one word k-i-n-g-m-i-k-e-d-g-a-m-e-s all one word so here it is again guys i appreciate you guys for watching thank you guys for um watching me this uh year even when i was gone like i said i'm very proud of my video uh 2018 video game room collection tour man i got over 10,000 views like, i was gone most of the time so big ups to everybody man i really appreciate you guys i'm about to get on out of here and put this stuff on shelves and figure out where am i going to put run out of space in here guys i'm gonna figure out where, where i'm gonna put these boxes and well at least they're not too big so that's the good thing so peace out I love you guys. If I don't hear from you, guys don't see from me again. Merry Christmas. Uh, for sure, 2019, 2019 Video Game Room Tour. That's going to be coming soon. I'm hoping to break the record of uh, this year's. Uh, my 2017 Game Room Tour pulled in a little bit over 5,000 views. Like I said, this year was 10,000. I'm trying to pull at least 20,000 for next year. Peace out. Love you guys. Until next time, I'm out.